I consider myself on the introverted side of the spectrum. For most of my adult life, I've lived in some kind of city setting, and I've always really enjoyed and needed those times of finding space alone with myself and with my thoughts away from the busyness of, of a city life. So I, I really am interested in finding that kind of like relationship between our inner worlds and how we relate in a larger society. The contrast there is very interesting to me and I think it's super important. Like we kind of live dual lives in terms of like what's going on inside of here and like the time we spend like being connected with our surroundings and the people around us. I went to school for psychology and art history in undergrad up in Montreal, which I loved. And then I went to graduate school for clinical social work. I was pursuing both the art piece being my side job outside of my full-time career as a mental health therapist um, and about seven months ago I left my position as a mental health therapist to pursue my art and illustration career full-time. It was a long process before leaving the, my day job um, so for Probably about three years I was selling art, doing commissioned work, working markets, doing illustrations for local companies or publications on the side. I did a book on the side while I was still at my day job. And then it just kind of got to this point where the opportunities were growing and my time was limiting my ability to pursue as many as I wanted to of that. I use primarily watercolor and gouache. Gouache is like a combination between an acrylic and a watercolor and also like pencil and pen line drawing. Um, to create definition, but I would say my subject matter tends to be on the surreal side of the spectrum. I get a lot of ideas just like randomly, um, especially if I'm like in a heightened emotional state. Some kind of a vision will, will come. Currently, I'm working on a piece that's going to incorporate like an anatomical heart. So like feeling like kind of the, like a tightness there or there needs to be more connection to there. And then like feeling that like pulling, like might create another image of like either like a road leading there or some kind of path there. Then I will usually start with like a thumbnail sketch and then I sketch out a rough sketch of where everything is going to be on the piece. But most of the process is with the watercolor and the piece evolves up like of its own accord too while I'm painting it, it never comes out looking exactly like what I expected it to look like in the beginning. Zipper, oh my gosh, zipper is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I adopted zipper about three years ago. My friend convinced me to go to the Mohawk Humane Society and just just look at the at the cats there. Um, and there were two cats there. There was Zipper and there was Mario. And Mario was like 
the most anxious cat I've ever seen in my life. Like the poor guy was just like hiding in the corner of his cage and Zipper was just like a total loving cat, like immediately jumped on my lap. And I was like, all right, I need to take her home. It's just so interesting to have another like living organism bearing witness to your life. Um, so sometimes I kind of think about that like, <laughs> like life through the lens of Zipper the cat. I actually think I'm wanting to return in some capacity to an office environment. I find that having that balance is really important and having a limited amount of time in which I can do my artwork actually I think increases my creativity and my motivation. I feel a very special like feeling in my heart when somebody says that they relate to a piece and like the fact that somebody would want to hang something that I created in their home is really crazy and awesome. It's like a really interesting way to relate to people.